Court. What's going on, you? And welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mav bringing you back to Bloody Roar 3. This time we're gonna play as Koryu the Iron Mole. This will be the next to last character that we'll be going for this playthrough series. Then we're gonna move on to another Bloody Roar game now. Koryu is a clone, well, is a robotic clone of this Bakuryu's predecessor who was an old man in the first Bloody Roar. A game which I do not own, by the way. So you're seeing uh, a robotic clone versus the successor of the person who he was cloned from. You know what I'm saying? Well, everybody has to think about clones. Just look at Long and Shenlong. What do you do? See, the exact same moves. Bad he doesn't have that uh he doesn't have that uh palm that Bakaryu has but he does have one of these move where he can shoot rockets up your ass shooting him out of his pure chest but yeah man he he basically what happened was at the end of Bloody War 1, if you play through with the old man Bakuryu, you figured out that Tylon was pumping him with a lot of unstable chemicals to keep his body at its peak physical form. That's why that old man was able to do flips and jumps that you'll never see old people do. So with all that happening, his body disintegrated into uh, chemical waste. And um, Tylon took the chemical waste and stored it. And when the ZLF came through, they kept that data after the Tylon fell. They kept that data after Tylon fell. And uh, before they um, before they got taken out, I believe it was either them that got made that made Koryu or it was another company. I'm not sure. As you can see, he's got that same teleport to Smaki that uh, look what we got. You see how it says Bahas Bakuryu was his first three letters of his first name on it, B A K on the back of his uh, jetpack. <laughs> hmm. He's not an Iron Man, he's an Iron Mole. I can't tell you why he's into uh, this part of the story though. So he just debuted it. Like, these guys have literally no story other than. This guy has literally no story other than that they were cloned from an original. Cut! Let me get that. Hey. You know, in the face, his facial mask kind of reminds me of Yoshimitsu's a little bit from the Soul Cow series. But anyway. Going up against God of the Lion here. But yeah, as you can see, he has moves identical to Bakuryu. And he has moves that are different from Bakuryu. It's like his uh, green charge move. It's different. But I have to say that he's still a tiny bit slower than Bakuryu. And this dude got great hair now. What's up? Uh. Turn around! Control. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this combo. <sighs> That's the combo I was trying to do. All right, mirror match. Cause I can't lose before stage five. My knuckles kind of hurt. If you hear weird sounds, 
That's my cell phone because I have the ringer on. No, oh, I tried to throw you. And he wasn't having it. Cut. Hmm. Stab you in your chest. Yeah. Gotcha. I wish I got stunned, Junior. Da ba 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 ba. Oh, how is that not a finish? Well, at least I kicked sand in your face to finish you. That's the only other costume where he has a mask, because, you know, he's supposed to be a ninja, so... Sorry, I love doing that. Alright, Yuriko the Half-Beast. So we gotta, so that's two of the kitty, three of the kitties, because we bought Shenlong earlier in the playthrough. Let's get it on. I'm always ready. Doink. Oof. Just kick sand in your face. Ugh, boy. Ugh, boy. Man, what, what kind of throw was that? Mm. She ain't like that one. Down attack. Ooh, the claw up. Ooh, run button. I was trying to get her with the, uh, you know, the, uh, dang, what's that move? The move where you jump in the air, catch him, and then you do a Zuna drop him. I'm going to try that on Sheena if I ever get her in the air. I'm going to jump off your back. Hey. Okay, here you go. Spamming the green moves. Cut. Drill claw. Drill claw. Oh shoot! Come on, man. Hey, 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 hey! It's gonna drop. She didn't like that. She spun like a record after I dropped her. You saw that? Why can't he laugh like that when he's not in Iron Mole form? Anyway, we don't want to be as Lone the Tiger, my favorite character, and the other Kung Fu Kitty in the room. So I fought all the kitties. Sheena, Grotto, Shenlong, Yuriko. Now I'm fighting Lone. close enough to where he couldn't catch me. Dang it. Ah, I thought I could teleport. That's all right. Ugh. Ugh, damn you and your combos long. Does he have a custom three? Let's see. Oh, 
I'll steal this costume. Alright. What? Hmm, why would they lie? Why would they lie and say he had a costume 3? That's, that's, that's false advertising. Now, Koryu has no ending either. So, after Xeon, I'm closing it out. Wait, 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 wait. Last up is Xeon, and then we close it out. Alright, let's go. How we got the same shade of blue on Xeon? Come on, bro. I open myself up to that. Dang it. Got you. Let's go. Kick Sandy go face. Kick Sandy go face. Cut. Let's go. First try. And that's it for Kuryu's playthrough, guys. Y'all thought I was going to lose to Xeon first time, did ya? <laughs> With that in mind, uh, if you guys um, enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you know where I upload. And I'll see you all next time for some more Bloody Roar 3. We will play as the last character, the most broken character in the game. Uranus. Till then, take care of y'all. Deuces.